What up, nigga? A couple days ago in Oakland, California, a 15-year-old girl by the name of Shamar Young, Shamara Young, was shot and killed in a road rage shooting. Road rage shooting. I didn't read the story because I'm doing other things. I'm not in Oakland, so I'm not going to vlog it or there's no chance of that happening, at least right now. So I'm sitting and a story comes across on my Newsbreak app, so I read it. And apparently the uncle was driving of this girl and got into an argument with the other car and they pulled out a gun and brutally shot and killed her. And now a 15 year old girl is dead. And whatever piece of shit out there that committed this crime is now going to be a convicted murderer, possibly for the rest of their life or what have you. I mean, what do you mean not possibly? Possibly, no, they will. There is no possibly, don't be stupid. Make a video and be dumb. Listen, I am one that probably drives more than anybody that watches me on YouTube unless you're a truck driver and I have been guilty of doing road rage from time to time. Still somewhat guilty. I have settled down in my old handsome age and not yelling at people, giving people the bird or what have you. Uh, let me just say this and I am also guilty of this when I was younger, had a little bit too much to drink and you know, got into a little bit of a road rage with my girlfriend in the car. Here's the thing, listen. By all means, if you want to cuss somebody out, break check the shit out of them, give them the finger, tell them that their mother's a whore, whatever, go ahead and do that. I would suggest you not because you never know who has the gun on them. <laughs> you never know who's the gun on them. But don't do that shit when you're with your family or your girlfriend or your wife. Don't do that road rage. Do that shit by yourself, okay? That way, if you get killed, it ain't nobody's fault but your own damn self. But you got a, a girl, your your niece, in the car, you know, in the seat next to you, and you're doing that shit. Man, let me tell you, it's 2021. It's going to be 2022. You don't know who these motherfuckers are out here. You just don't know. You can't trust anybody. You can't even trust yourself. All I gotta say is, whoever watches this video, take my advice. If you're with your wife, your husband, uh, your girlfriend, whoever the fuck, and somebody pisses you off, somebody's driving like an a-hole, yeah, that pisses you off. I know you wanna fucking just be like, ah, you know what I mean? But you never know. This story, you can learn from it because unfortunately that girl had to pay the ultimate price, which is death, for her uncle's moronic ass because he probably want to tell somebody off and he's ghetto as fuck and then the other loser he's ghetto as fuck too so you got two ghetto losers going at it and then now a young girl is dead so hey if you want a road rage do that shit when you're by yourself don't do it when you're with your loved ones in the car all right because i because i did that shit before i ain't gonna lie and i was with my girlfriend and, and I had a little bit, I, I drank a little bit. I wasn't drunk, but I was a little buzzed, you know, and, and I was behind the wheel. I was the one driving, you know, but I was fine to drive. Can you shut the fuck up before I fucking pull up? Anyways, I'm sorry, real quick. Let me finish the story. This is why I don't, this, this is why I kind of want to stop doing videos in my car because I'm, I'm so tired of this. Shit. I'm just really tired. Don't make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. I had a little bit too much to drink, but I wasn't drunk. I, I've never drunk drunk. Well, that's a lie. Anyways, I was a little buzzed and I was driving home. I was fine. No, trust me. If she had a couple drinks, I did not want her to drive. If anybody's going to get a, a DUI, it's going to be me. And this was about maybe, what, 10 years ago? So we, I pull out of this casino in Las Vegas. Um, I forgot. Uh, whatever. And then this guy's playing asshole. And he's also in the car with his girlfriend. So I'm in the car and then... I break, I go, I spin around him and I break check the fuck out because he's acting like an asshole. And he's like, oh yeah, fuck you. And I, and I you know, listen, I, I, I am not a pussy, but I'm, I am no like hardcore G. I'm not a loke. I told him, I said, pull your motherfucking ass over right now. Let's get this shit started. Like right now, I, I don't give a shit. Let's do it right now. I, I'll get my ass, I'll take an ass whooping all day. Get Joe right now. And then my girlfriend's like, She's like, stop, you're, you're, you're tripping, you're tripping. Just stop, let's just go, God, just stop. And then, like, she starts getting pissed. 
And I just said, you know what? What? And then his girlfriend is just like, you know, yelling at him. And then the, the girls are looking at each other. And I was like, you know what? This is not even worth it. And I'll tell you why. She ain't fucking me anyways. No, not his girlfriend. My girlfriend. We're not even having sex. So why am I going to whoop this motherfucker's ass because she ain't blow fucking sucking my dick? I'm at five. I'm, I got it. I mean, it's true. 